So guys. I modeled this stylized character. He's quite muscular and I wanted to have pretty realistic and natural skin motion. At least for the most distinctive muscle groups. Sadly Blender is not crazy fast these days in that specific context. So I decided to experiment on the left side only. I threw an insane amount of extra bones in my rig. The deformations were quite good to me. But of course, the cons of the one side only process showed up. I searched at ons or ideas to symmetrize all my weight maps on the right side, but I found nothing. So ended up with that process which is not so long. Create a new collection. Duplicate your mesh in the armature and move them in that new collection. In that new collection, select the duplicated armature and go in edit mode. Select all the bones by pressing A. Press F3 to search the batch rename tool, or use the Ctrl F2 shortcut. In the window of the batch rename tool, select bones in the data type section. In the find data field enter the left suffix of your bones, and in the replace data field, enter a right suffix. When you press enter you can see that all your left bones have now the suffix underscore r. And all the associated weight maps have been renamed too which is really really cool. The armature has done its job you can delete it. Select the mesh and go to the modifier tab. You can delete the armature modifier. In the mirror modifier deactivate the clipping and the merge options, then apply the modifier. Then go to edit mode. Select the left side and delete it. Move the mesh into its original collection. Select the original mesh and deactivate the mirror modifier. Then select first the duplicated mesh then the original one. Press Ctrl J to merge them. Go to edit mode to delete the right side of your model. And exit the edit mode. You can now reactivate the mirror modifier. Make sure it is above the armature one. As expected the left bones don't affect the right side of your model anymore. Now symmetrize your left bones the classic way and you're done. As always if you have some bones not properly named you'll see obvious glitches in your mesh.